I can't believe I'm actually doing this two days in a row. I'm so excited. Okay, if you can see this, please drop a hey in the chat because I just wanna make sure it's working. And I feel like in this light, my roots look so bad. I need to dye my hair, but we're just going with it today. So hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining. And we are going to have so much fun talking about my current favorites today. So um, I have so much to go over and I just cannot wait. So let me give you guys a few minutes because I feel like we're a little delayed. Hello, Alyssa. Is this your first live that you're joining me for? Oh my God. And my hair is like so crazy. I showered last night after the Marin Morris concert, which was incredible. If you ever get the chance to see Marin Morris live, do it. Like she is extraordinarily talented. Like her singing voice live is ridiculous. So, um, yeah, my hair is crazy because I went to sleep with my hair wet and I don't normally have my hair down. So, we're just going with the flow. Ah, yes, two days in a row. I can't believe it. We are thriving. And <laughs> um, thank you, Eris Tour. My entire wardrobe is graphic t-shirts, mostly from small shops, which I just love. And also mostly Taylor Swift, let's be honest. So Okay, we have a lot to cover and I have makeup in this bag. I have books to talk about. I have like purses and because I am like a purse addict. I don't know if you guys know that, but <laughs> I have like a stack of purses that I've just been loving and yeah, but the first thing I want to talk about is so, so random. It is a vacuum. <laughs> And my mom is watching right now and this is actually their vacuum but this is the what even is it it's like the dyson like stick vacuum you know what i mean and if oh it says it dyson v8 motorhead origin oh, sounds fancy um but basically if you hate vacuuming or you feel like vacuums are all so annoying and you don't want to vacuum you need like a cordless stick vacuum and Dyson is obviously known to be really powerful and like good quality and stuff. But if you guys know of a cheaper, cheaper alternative, please let me know because I want to get one of these so I don't have to keep borrowing my parents. But with Mocha's hair, which is sheds like she sheds like a whole dog's worth of hair in like a month. And so we need to vacuum and we hate vacuuming. So especially with like a corded heavy vacuum, this is awesome because it's very lightweight. I can take it up and down the stairs easily. I can do the stairs easily and it is just the best. So stick vacuum from Dyson is like a huge favorite. And I haven't talked a lot about like house stuff in a long time, but this is probably one of the best things you could buy for your house, especially if you have a dog. And I shed a lot, um, so it also helps with human hair. <laughs> Okay, what should we do first, you guys? I feel like purses is like a hot topic right now. At least for me, because I'm always thinking about it. But I have loved this like Chanel dupe style purse. And all of this that I remembered is linked in the description box. So I forgot to link the Dyson, but um, I linked this because this is from Amazon and it's like a Chanel dupe. It's just like vinyl and it's not like real stitching, but it's under $25. It is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I love like the, it's not real leather or anything, but like the blue with the gold hardware. And this I got specifically for the Barbie movie, like because I just thought it was so cute, so like Barbie and stuff. 
but I've also been using it for concerts. So it's great because it's clear and they can really see through it. Like some clear purses that are like iridescent, they don't want you to use because they're not really like transparent. This is actually transparent. So I haven't had any issues using this. Um, super cheap, super like love it. It's a great crossbody length on me and it is just perfect it has a little twist closure and it's just like a big open hole and this like back pocket is basically useless it's too small for a phone but maybe you guys have like a use for it that you can think of but it's just so cute my mom loved it so much that we got her one immediately because you know how Amazon is. They don't always like continue to have the same thing in stock. So if you like it, I would pick it up 25 bucks and it's so cute. Also, I have been working on an embroidery project. So I, <laughs> I just get into stuff like I am very like obsessive with things <laughs> if you haven't noticed um and this is like a stabilizer so it won't look like this in the end but um this one like instagram account i started following for like the heiress tour is like an embroidery shop and she was making and i think still makes like denim jackets for the heiress tour and so she was selling these like stabilizer kits that have all the different eras or like all the different album names and anyway i really wanted to do it but like i don't wear denim jackets really and i don't know i just thought a purse or bag would be cuter so i got this purse and it has like a heart on the front i want to put like taylor swift patches or something on the heart but um, I'm doing Rep Lover because I just loved that, like kind of play on words because my favorite album is Rep and I also love Lover. And I also love 1989 and stuff, but I just wanted to start small, I guess. And so this whole part at the top, I've embroidered by hand. And then the Lover I'm gonna do in like a lighter pink um color so i'm gonna get started on that but i'm just so proud of this and um anyways i wanted to do like embroidery or like cross stitching or something i have other kits that i bought in the past but never actually did them but this was like it's actually something i could use like a purse like it's a mini backpack um and yeah, like other stuff is just kind of like you do it and then you like hang it up. So I thought this was fun because you can actually like use it and show it off. So that is what I'm working on with like my hobbies or whatever. And then fanny packs are my absolute favorite thing to wear in the world. Um, my like quintessential one is this. So this is one that I got like customized or whatever through stony clover a few months ago and it goes so well with my era shirt i'll probably wear this today um but this is so good like they're expensive for what they are but this is the stony clover jumbo fanny pack normal fanny packs are too small like they don't fit enough and also i feel like they make me look ginormous so <laughs> this is like a bigger size for like uh an adult you know and you can fit so much in here like i don't have anything in here right now oh i do i have some tissues i have my mini ikea bag <laughs> i love that thing but you can fit like i love to carry around my kindle which is also a favorite you can fit your kindle in here no issue like it is the best bag ever it's small but it's mighty you know and um the hardware is really nice it's just a really great like everyday bag so i customized it with their like star patches in rainbow colors and i get so many compliments on this whenever i wear it and yeah 
So love that. And then since I'm in my Barbie era, I had to get a pink one and I got this, I believe on Amazon prime day. So it was a deal. Um, like I swear I got like 50 bucks off of this. It was so weird. I don't know why it was so discounted, but this is in the bubblegum color and I swear you can't see how vibrant it is. Like it's so much brighter than I thought it would be when I saw it in person. I was so glad. And like even the strap is the same color and it has gold hardware, which is my favorite. And then I got this um, like personalized bag charm from a small shop called Lantern Pins. And they do ones with like the Barbie font. And they also have a lot of like BTS K-pop merch, like customizable stuff. So that is really cool. And again, this is the Jumbo. I have tried buying like other brands Jumbo fanny packs and they are not the same. They are not as good. They're not as deep. They're not as nice. And so unfortunately, I feel like they're worth the price from Stony Clover because I can't find it anywhere else. Like the size and just like, it's perfect. So I love these. If you're a fanny pack person, the jumbo Stony Clover, I think is worth it. And it's really fun to get it like customized. And I just love the black with the pops of color. And then another fanny pack option that I really like if you want something smaller is the Lululemon. So probably everyone knows about these. Um, my first one I got was from Patchology. They sent me one in like a PR kit in black, um, which is great. But then I saw that they had a like, vi uh, like violet, yeah. They call it dark lavender and it is so pretty like I love this color so much and this is more like smaller but it has a few little organizational pockets and a nice thing is that it has a zipper pocket on like the back that's flush with your body so that is a quality I love when I'm traveling because especially if you're going like um somewhere where you have a passport you can put that right against your body and yeah so this is what this one looks like way smaller a little more um i don't know not as fancy looking because it just has the plastic versus like the gold hardware but i really love it um and i forgot to say for the jumbo fanny packs this is what I use whenever I go to the movies so I can smuggle in my water bottle and this one is like ready to go for the movies. Um, I have my like M&Ms in here. Like I literally just keep this packed for the movies. Like, <laughs> And then I just put my water bottle in there and then no one would ever know so yes i agree Alyssa. that one's like a boom pack because it's so much shorter and i'm sure it varies because i do have boobs so if you didn't it would be more like lower but that's what i love about the stony clover it's so long and i don't even think i might have it the longest setting i'm not sure but yeah the Stony Clover ones are my favorite, but for an alternative, the Lululemons are really nice. Okay, speaking of books, so Kindle. The Kindle, oh my God, I love this thing. This is one of my favorite things I have ever acquired. It was a gift from my parents, but uh, it's just like, ah, it's just amazing. I love, first of all, I have, I've always had like a case on it and I love it cause it's like soft clothes or something and it just feels good. Like you can like flip it like a real book and stuff. And I subscribe to Kindle Unlimited, which is through Amazon. So like Kindles are Amazon and um, that is like really convenient to me because I just have the subscription through Amazon. I bought this through Amazon and it's just easy peasy. So, um, yes, right now I am reading, let me see if I can get it to show. 
um, Salt House Place by Jamie Lee Sogn. I'm not sure how to pronounce their name, but it is really good. I stayed up too late last night reading this. Um, but this is the Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition. I have this link down below. And I read like crazy on this thing. Like my book goal for the year was 40 books. And this is my 38th book I've read this year. And we're only in August. So it really increases your reading because well one I just think it's so much more convenient like I can take this if I'm going somewhere and I have to wait I can read while I'm waiting or I can read this like so easily like you don't have to carry around books but I did read two physical books in the past like month that were really notable and I wanted to mention them this is by far my favorite book that I've read in a very long time. And like I said, I've been reading a lot. Um, I'm biased because Riley Sager is my favorite author, but his newest book, The Only One Left, is his best work. Like, I am so impressed by this book. It is, it's like next level Riley Sager. Like, he is a good author in general, but this I feel like is great. And the twist is insane. It's just so well done. I can't stop thinking about it. And yeah, so I will definitely be keeping this like to reread it in the future. I usually like donate books that I finish because I don't typically want to reread them which is another great thing about the Kindle. You don't have like to store a million books, which is great. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely keeping this to reread it. And if you've never read R Riley Sager, Sager, I would highly recommend this. And if you like thrillers in general, I recommend it. I would just recommend it, period. Um, and then this book, definitely look up trigger warnings. This is very, like Lisa Jewell in general, I feel like you should always look up trigger warnings for her books because they typically have like a lot to do with like childhood trauma. Um, so be like conscious of that before you start reading this. But this is her newest book. I got it through book of the month and it's called None of This is True, which is so intriguing. And uh, oh my God, you know, Alyssa, you're listening to this with your family. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> Will, you have to read um, Riley Sager. And have you read Fourth Wing? Because I have that on my Kindle, but I haven't started it yet. Okay, none of this is true. So good. I read it in like two days. Um, trigger warnings up the wazoo. So look at that before you read it. But again, I feel like this is Lisa Jewell's best book. Like is every author just like releasing their best books ever? I don't know. But this one I prefer much more than other Lisa Jewell books I've read. This one I just was like captivated and I liked the ending. It wasn't like as dark. It's dark, but it wasn't as dark as some that I've read by her. And it was just so well done. I absolutely love this. And I, I honestly don't miss holding an actual book. It hurts my hands because <laughs> I have like oddly small hands. And so it just like hurts my hands to like hold books like open for a long time. And on the Kindle, I love that you just, um, one, it, let, let me get into my book. You can change like the font size, which I absolutely love because I like taking off my glasses when I read because I usually read right before bed. But if I take off my glasses and read a normal book, I have to like hold it up to my face like this close. But this, like a Kindle, you can just make the font size whatever you want and you don't have to like strain your eyes. Also, I love just pressing to turn the page. That is like amazing. And when I read physical books, I literally notice myself like wanting to touch the corner to turn the page, but I actually have to turn it. So to be honest, I don't miss holding actual books. I prefer like 
ebooks now, um, but I do still buy physical books from time to time, especially because like I love going to Barnes and Noble and just like seeing what's out there and stuff. Um, but yeah, I actually prefer the ebook. <laughs> okay. I think that was everything for like, okay, random in terms of TV. Um, the best thing that I pay for every month in terms of TV is Paramount Plus without commercials. It is the best like $15 or whatever I pay every month because I'm obsessed with Survivor and my sister and I are obsessed with Amazing Race and both of those shows are on Paramount Plus. And when you pay for the non-ad version, now you also get Showtime. And Alyssa and I have been watching Yellow Jackets, which is freaking insane. It is not what I expected at all. I knew it was like a teenage, like, um, I don't know, survival story or something, but it is like sort of like horror-ish, which I'm not typically into, but it's really good. And I haven't had any nightmares because of it. So that's a good thing. <laughs> but yeah, if you have Showtime or you pay for Paramount Plus and now you have Showtime, check out Yellow Jackets, not for kids, definitely not for kids, um, but it's really good. And if you have other Showtime recommendations, let us know. But yeah, Survivor, I went back and started rewatching from the beginning. I have watched most of the like iconic seasons. I'm caught up like present day. Loved Tika, like Tribe Tika this season. Um, and Three Stooges with Carolyn and everything. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Um, but I wanted to like go back and watch all the old seasons. So then I know like all the players and stuff. And now I'm on either the sixth season or the seventh season. And it is so different. Like the current seasons, like the new Survivor um, are just so different than the old ones. And I really love the old ones. Like there's just something so pure about it. Like there's not immunity, like hidden immunity idols. There's not like as much like unknown stuff like everything is sort of just like challenges I love when they do the um the survivor auction where they get money and can like get food and stuff it's just so much fun and yeah I miss the old survivor even though I'm only just now watching it like 20 years later <laughs> but yeah I'm curious to see like as I continue to go through when it starts to change and when they start incorporating like the hidden immunity idols and stuff like that. So really cool stuff. Love Paramount Plus. And Rachel and I are doing the same thing with Amazing Race where we started from season one and we're working our way forward. Um, and now we're on season 11, which is like the all stars from the first 10 seasons. And it is the best group of all stars. Like we never want this season to end because it's just so good. Um, but yeah, so Paramount Plus is where it's at. I like never watch Hulu or Netflix or anything. So Paramount Plus is all I really need. Okay, makeup. And I, like I alluded to yesterday, I don't wear makeup all the time, like anymore. Oh, why women kill? Yes. Thank you, Alyssa. That is on Paramount Plus and there's only two seasons, but I hope they're like making more and it's an anthology. So each season stands alone. Season two was definitely my favorite. I loved season two. Um, but yeah, check that out. Um, so I don't wear makeup nearly as much as I used to. Like when I would go into the office every day, I would wear makeup every day. When I did YouTube videos, I wore makeup every weekend because I was filming. And now I really only wear makeup like if I'm going out somewhere or if I'm going to work, which I only go into the office Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Um, the other days I work remotely and I always joke like, <laughs> do my coworkers like recognize who I am when I'm on like 
Teams versus in the office because like I'm wearing it like full makeup in the office and then on teams I'm like bare face bun glasses like I just feel like it is so funny how different I look <laughs> the days that I don't work in the office um but anyway I have really like gotten a routine of what makeup I like to do and I've just been doing it like every day so the first tip that I have is so backing up I worked remotely for like three years and so I didn't really need my makeup to last throughout the day but now I go into the office I literally have to wake up at like 6 a.m drive an hour into the office and work from like eight to like usually I get to leave a little early but like eight to five essentially I need my makeup to look good so I did this trick that I heard Makeup by Kellyanne, Makeup XKA on Instagram. Um, she has talked about using setting spray before you do your makeup. And I was like, what would that do, you know? Oh my God, such a game changer. I have loved the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Like this is the only setting spray I really like. And you just literally like douse your face in this after you do your skincare. And um, I use, I don't know where it is, but I have a little like hand mirror and I like use it to like air dry my face from this. And then I will go in and do my makeup. So the, all the products that I pretty much have been using are new and I still love like trying out different makeup and like seeing what's new and whatnot. And I have like the best little thing going for me right now. So this concealer, if you are a NARS creamy concealer person, it will be dethroned by this. And again, Makeup by Kellyanne, she recommended this. And this is the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. And so this is pretty new. Now you can get um, Natasha Denona at Ulta, at least online. And the color I got is N1, which is like a perfect color match for my skin. It's not brightening. It's like exactly my color. And I would say it's comparable to the NARS Vanilla. Um, so I got this and I am like amazed. It is the NARS Creamy Concealer on steroids in terms of coverage. And it just blends like a dream. It is just great. And I love the applicator. It's also like a little bit more of a thinner formula. So I feel like it just like goes farther and doesn't, like cake up as much. So I use this under my eyes and then I go in with the Summer Fridays Sheer Skin Tint in shade one. And normally no skin tints work for me. They're always orange. It just is horrible. Um, but this one actually works and it's super thin. I don't know if you can hear it, but it has a little it's a squeeze bottle and I literally just squeeze it onto my face <laughs> and then I blend this onto my face while the creamy, or what is this, high glam concealer. I put that on first and then I put on the skin tint and sort of like mesh them together. I blend that all over my face and then if I have any like because the skin tint is very, very light and that's what I wanted. I wanted something that slightly even out my skin tone but didn't give like super duper coverage so that is what this is great for and then if I have like I have a little more redness like on my cheek area so then I just put a little more of this and then blend that in and that's it and then um once that is like set like settled down I use this makeup forever HD skin twist and light powder in number one light and it's the weirdest thing ever it's like a three compartment powder and then you twist it on the bottom like you go back and forth and powder comes out and then um I use that 
to set mostly under my eyes because it's very brightening. Even for me, this color is like light. So, and the other thing that's bad about this is that since it's like you're twisting it, you can't really control from time to time what colors you get. Like it's kind of a gamble. It just mixes all the colors together in a like random way. Like it's not like a press powder or something where you just blend it. It's literally like you have to twist the thing and then it dispenses it however it wants to. <laughs> so it's kind of a gamble. Sometimes it dispenses too much blue and then it's like really bright under my eyes. But what I love about this powder, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it is so like thin. It really just brightens and all this like glow you're seeing, like the luminosity is from that powder. Um, it's not shimmery, but it is, I would say like slightly pearlescent, which sounds scary, um, but it is gorgeous. I just absolutely love it. And I set under my eyes and then I take the brush and I go like at the high points of my face, like down my T-zone and I love it. it. It is so good. Do you use a brush to blend the concealer and tint? I use my hands. So when I like squeeze the tint on, I rub it with my hands and I've been getting ready in my bathroom, which is really weird for me. I used to always get ready at my vanity. Oh my God, there's a spotted lantern fly on our screen door. No, we haven't like had any here. Oh, Alyssa. <laughs> oh, great. So sorry for the um, alarming <laughs> like sidetrack, but okay. Whew. I am like scared now. Okay. So after I do that, if it's too bright, I, I think I have it down here. Yeah. This is my little like face makeup bag. And, um, I put the stuff I wanted to talk about in here, but if it's too bright under my eyes, I'll take like a face powder and then just buff that on top. And then it's like, it evens out. But I do wish that this was more like consistent time after time, but it is so pretty. I love it. I would repurchase it and they did something like extra magical with that formula. Okay, then for blush, this is a blush Aunt Sue and I got, we both got it when she came to visit and we did a shopping spree at Sephora. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Blush in Amour. And my issue with pretty much every product is that my skin turns everything orange. So it's very rare to find a blush that doesn't turn orange on me. And Aunt Sue's issue was that everything turns red on her. So I was showing her this blush and how, like just watching it on my hand, how like smooth and silky and blendable it was and that it wasn't turning orange. And she tried it and it didn't turn red. So it's just like this perfect flush. It is so pretty. And um, I don't get excited really about blush, but this one is so nice. The Giorgio Armani 51. And I don't think I need it, but I wanted to show you guys one of my favorite products um, that I pretty much use like every day. So if you like love a glow, you need this product. And I wish I could find my little mirror. I don't know what I did with it, but this is the Merit um, Highlighting Balm in Kava. So this is like a little stick balm and um for let's see um christine which product are you asking about um so if i want like even more of a glow i'm getting a brush out to blend this um i just take this and i go like this and this will give you the most amazing like glazed donut <laughs> like that's I don't know if that's outdated that terminology but 
it just like makes your skin pop it is so gorgeous it blends so nicely with a brush like a synthetic brush and it is just glowy gorgeous love it um and so i use that like i would say pretty much every day with that full like routine that i was talking about that's always like my last step and i just love it sometimes i go back over with my blush brush to make sure it, like both of those are fully blended together but it is just like that cherry on top of glow and then um for lips i have a lot of lip favorites to talk about not a lot but like a core like little set so what i'm wearing on my lips today is a product i always forget about until summer but they are so good it's the fenty I think they're called popsicle, poutsicle, um, like hydrating lip stains. So I love that you can see the color on the top. The one I'm wearing today is the Berry Banger. But what I really like about these is that you can layer them. And oh wait, before I do that, let me show you. There's no transfer. Oh my God, that is like insane right but it has such good color and I just love it and so this one is that's Berry Banger I'm gonna layer up my type it's like my tie but my type and I love that you can layer them they're slightly like they're very sort of like a lip oil consistency not sticky not drying at all and they're like a little bit glossy at first but then they not matte down but they like create that stain and what I love about these is that they actually stain the color that they are like I feel like a lot of times lip stains are all that like bubblegum pink like pH color that they all like claim to like tint your lips but they all are pink these actually stain your lips the color that they are so the red one i love especially when i'm having like a t swift moment is strawberry sangria the berry one i was wearing is berry banger and then the one i just put on is my type and this is more like a pink not fuchsia but like yeah kind of a very like bright pink and yes, Christine, of course I remember you. You have been a long time follower of mine, which is so nice. Um, so that is kind of my like summer lip staple when I want to have more color, but I can't be bothered to like keep reapplying. Those are great. Um, and then my favorite, just like daily lip products. This is my favorite lip color of all time. And I every lip color i love they always discontinue so i'm scared of that happening but this is the nars soft matte tinted lip balm in unrestricted and i'm scared how much do i have left okay i have a bit left um but this is the ultimate perfect color for my lips it is like my lips but better essentially and it's just so nice i love the soft matte formula it just glides over your lips and it's not like goopy or anything it's just so nice love the packaging and then another favorite especially for like work and just reapplying something really quickly is the fresh sugar lip treatment and peony this one is a similar color i just love that type of like slightly berry mauve color and this is like a lip balm and then it has a bit of a tint so i use that especially at work um so it's just an easy reapplication. the eyeshadow that i'm wearing i wear a lot this palette is like expensive but i actually wear it a lot it's the charlotte tilbury rock chick and i especially love this shimmery like gunmetal color and that's what I'm wearing all over my eyes. It is so pretty. Um, this color is really pretty for just like an all over sort of like beigey champagne. And, um, oh no, 
no, sorry, Christine. Um, and so that is like, I've just been using this palette. I just like keep it in my bag and pretty much use that whenever I do eye makeup. And then my, oh, my favorite mascara. Oh my God. I can't believe Benefit still sends me PR. Like I'm so thankful, but I just can't believe it. And they just came out with a new mascara. It's called Fan Fest. And to be honest, I never really liked Benefit mascaras. They were all, they all made my eyelashes super hard and like brittle. So I was very skeptical of this, but I tested it out because I really liked the wand. It's like a curved type of thing. And this is incredible. It is not brittle like it doesn't make your lashes brittle and i don't know if you can see but it's very like voluminizing and yeah it like fans them out so it's great it doesn't transfer more than other mascaras do on me and yeah i just really like it so i definitely wanted to mention that i wear this tom ford liquid liner which um, me and Aunt Sue got at the cosmetic company outlet in February and this itty bitty little, um, like nub that is my favorite side. It's a double sided liquid eyeliner, but I really don't use this side. That's more like a calligraphy pen. Um, I just don't really prefer it, but this is like the best. It doesn't transfer it is just so good and if you can get it at the cosmetic company outlet it's a good deal for how long this is lasting like i got it in february it's august i use it all the time and i don't know how long it'll continue to last but it's really really good and then last but not least for perfume i have like since I've been going back to work, I have been experimenting more with my perfume and I'm so glad I got this like recently because I've been wearing it a lot. As you can see, this is the Prada Paradox, which is a new fragrance and I love this packaging. It's like a triangle and oh my gosh, it smells so good. It is like kind of like a musky and I hate saying musky because that sounds like bad but it's like a spicy floral which like me I doubt Chloe's watching this but Chloe like you need this oh my god it is so good it's very like just light but like people notice it but not like they're not overwhelmed by it it's very light but noticeable <laughs> i don't know how best to describe it but it is more of like a personal fragrance like it sits closer to your skin you're not gonna walk in the room and everyone's gonna be like oh someone smells amazing like it's more like sits closer to your body which i like for work which is why i use it so much and like if i'm going somewhere that i want to wear perfume but i don't want to like blow people away this is a really really great one and then this one I wear so much and I when I was looking it up to link it, it's like sold out everywhere. So if this is something you want, like get put on a wait list. But this is the Wilhelm Parfumery Do Not Disturb. This is by far one of my most used fragrances in the summer. It's more fruity, more of a fruity floral, but like very chic, like not like super duper sweet it's oh my god it is just incredible like i don't know how to explain it this is one of my like all-time favorite perfumes and when i was doing that like top five thing on instagram i can't believe i forgot about this because it is one of my top fives um and it's just so good so i wear these two all the time love both and the Prada I really like because it's refillable so whenever you can like whenever you run out of it you can just get a refill and so I bought the tiniest bottle since you know it's refillable so you don't really need to necessarily buy the biggest bottle 
Okay, I think that is it. Oh my God. I can't believe how much I had to tell you guys. I could have went on forever, I'm sure. Like I have my whole thing of bracelets. <laughs> I could do like a whole bracelet collection video. These are all bracelets I've made and this isn't even all of them because most of the ones I made, I like made to give away at concerts. But yeah, I'm a freaking bracelet freak. I just can't stop making bracelets. I want to show you, wait, this one that I made for Halloween. I'm so excited to wear it. It's candy corns. Oh my God. These are beads I got at Joann's. How amazing is that? Yes, I told them about Disney yesterday, Alyssa. And I think I'm most excited to go, well, I'm most excited to go with you guys cause you're like Disney experts, but I really am excited. Oh my God, like Magic Kingdom. That's my favorite like park, except I also love Animal Kingdom and I love Epcot, I love it all. Um, but I'm very excited to go like when there's Christmas decorations and it's just like such a like cool vibe. And then I'm really excited for our like down days when we get to go to like Disney Springs and like explore that and like go to those like restaurants you want to go to. Like I just want to do everything and I'm most excited about everything. But the ride that I'm most excited about and I hope you guys like to go on it too is the Yeti ride, is it like Mount Everest or whatever? <laughs> like, I don't know what it's called. In Animal Kingdom, the one where it goes up and goes backwards. That is my favorite ride. I can't wait to go on that. I'll do single rider if I have to, but <laughs> that is like something I'm really looking forward to. Also, other bracelets I've been making, preparing for the beach are these ones with like shells. Oh my gosh, Aunt Sue, I need to make you like one of these. So I got like shell, seashell bracelet or um, beads and some starfish. They're just so, I just love making bracelets because <laughs> Ryan, no down is loud. Oh my God. Um, I just love making bracelets because I never could find bracelets that fit me like for my whole life. Like I have very, a very small wrist. Like I'm not a small girl, but my hands and my wrists are very small. And so every bracelet just like falls off and it's just not fun. So now that I can make like bracelets that I want to wear and make them like to my size is like perfect. Also, I don't think I showed you these yet, Alyssa, but I've been making, um, Mickey bracelets, like Mickey head bracelets with beads that I got. And I really like to get um, gold plated, like gold plated, just like middle beads. Cause then I don't have to worry about like taking them off and stuff. So that has been super fun. Keeps me busy. Like I just, I just always keep myself busy because if not, I would, like drive myself crazy and be overthinking and stuff. So I keep myself busy and yeah. So I think that is everything. I am going to go help my mom with a new freezer she's getting. I have to get um, my label maker because I just want to label stuff. Like, as you can see, I have like labels on my <laughs> bracelets. I'm just like a freak, okay? So anyway, you guys, this was so fun. And um, I think that's it. I don't wanna say goodbye. This was so awesome. And I really appreciate you being here and like joining me, it's so cool. And um, mom will make the freezer fun. We will listen to K-pop the whole time and yeah. So, oh, also, if you love to read and stuff, I have my Goodreads account linked down below. Add me on that. I would love to see what you guys are reading. And yeah, so that is everything. Thank you so much for being here. And I hope you have a great Sunday and um, start to your week. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>